Well, let's talk to Mark Oswald, who's Chief Economist and Global Strategist at ADM Investor Services. Uh, welcome back to the programme, Mark. Good to see you. Uh, so we've seen China outpace the United States in the first half of this year when it comes to new unicorn companies. Uh, why is that? It's a combination of factors. Um, first of all is the difference in, in between uh, China easing interest rate policy um, and on the other hand, the U.S. aggressively raising interest rates. Then, of course, uh, there's probably the much more important factor, and that was the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, which uh, was uh, basically a vehicle at the end of the day, which funded a lot of the unicorns, and that collapse um, obviously sent a, a huge amount of ripples within the U.S. But it's also, it's, you know, it is rising interest rates. When interest rates get to the sort of level that we're at, um, in, in the U.S., in Europe, um, in the U.K., um, the desire to chase um, returns when defensive assets, assets offer a good return and there's a lot of econ economic uncertainty is basically what is dousing um, a little bit of the fire um, up, you know, behind the, the um, unicorn sector. So do you think we will see that change? We have seen uh, this decline in growth, but uh, will there be a reversal of that? Um, at the end of the day, I mean, I think the other thing, which is playing also in, into unicorn demand in China, so to speak, um, is the fact that the property sector is seen by a lot of investors as being off limits. So they're looking elsewhere, interest rates are low, so they're looking elsewhere to direct their capital. And I think that's definitely helping, and that will continue to give a boost, particularly if this engagement with the private sector that's been announced by the authorities in China, um, you know, to engage more with them, uh, the, the, the ending of the clampdown on the tech sector, uh, the engagement with the private sector above all, uh, before rules are formulated. Uh, these are all positive things and certainly should basically give a boost to um, the, the whole, well, the tech sector uh, broadly, whether that's related to healthcare, education, financial services, all of those sort of things should get a boost. So looking more globally, uh, we're not seeing so many of these unicorn companies are making the move towards listing on stock markets. Do you think it would be good for the markets and also for investors if there were more? Um, well, I think... Uh, to a certain extent, people are now being much more cautious. It's very understandable. The economic outlook is very uncertain. We've got this re-globalization uh, going on, and that creates a lot of ripples of uncertainty. You know, in a globalized world, you felt you could market to everybody, but there are barriers being put up, um, and that's not so good. And I think that will stifle um, <coughs> um, you know, de development of the, the, the sector, particularly the, the tech tensions, the tech war tensions between the US and China, they're not a positive thing, even though we're actually at that point in a, in a grand transition of the global economy where these startups are, are needed more than ever before, basically to give us the innovation that we need um, to speed things up above all with the energy transition. So sectors are doing well at the moment when it comes to unicorns uh, include uh, clean energy, uh, chip making, uh, to name two. What industries and sectors do you think we will see more unicorn companies emerge from? Um, well, I, th I think you know the, the bulk of the unicorns in any case globally are, are pretty much all tech sector. Uh, a lot of them financial services. I think there's still actually probably a lot of room uh, in, in that area, particularly any company which can... Uh, move towards consolidating a lot of the services um, in the commodity sector. There's a, a, a there's a huge amount of companies providing piecemeal services, which now need to be basically brought under one roof. Um, and a lot of it, you know, they are private sector companies. So I I think there's a lot of uh, innovation there, and I think above all, anything to do with energy transition, battery storage. All of that is, is just going to be hugely in demand. Mark, great to get your thoughts today. Thank you for joining us. That's uh, Mark Oswald uh, from ADM Investor Services.